Hey guys, it's Dan here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Site Audit tool on Surf SEO. So the first thing you want to do is actually make sure that you're selected on the SERP Analyzer section up here. Then once you are, you just want to enter in your keyword that you're looking to rank for and kind of look at the Site Audit for on the actual page. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is maybe go for a keyword tennis court maintenance, as I've used that as the other example. Uh, you know, select desktop scrape or mobile scrape depending on your needs and obviously your location as I've been through before. First one, we're going to go nationwide United Kingdom and just press enter. So that's going to load down here. And once that's fully loaded, you know, it's similar to, as I said on the other video, going through the SERP Analyzer tool, you just want to click on it and it'll come up with all the graphs and all the data. There's a few more steps you need to go through to actually get to the site order, which I'll show you when this is fully loaded. So as you can see, that's just loading up down there now. And there we go, that's fully done. So as it says, um, analysis is ready. So you just want to click on your keyword and it'll pop up just as it does with the SERP Analyzer. So as you can see, you know, familiar with the graphs as I've been through on the other video. If you're not, just check out our SERP Analyzer video and it runs through all of this data for you really, really quickly and uh, gives you an in-depth kind of guide into how to use that. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're actually going to scroll down here and actually find our website on the rankings. So obviously, our particular website, we're using an example, say we go sports and safety services here, number eight, say that's your website, all you want to do is click audit next to that there. So, you know, if you're potentially, you know, ranking, you know, uh, much out of the, of, the, of the top 10, you can actually continue to scroll down and find your website for that keyword. So as long as you're ranking in the top 50 for your, uh, for your chosen keyword, you'll be able to find your website. But obviously, if not, you can kind of find different keywords um, and kind of work out how to kind of improve your rankings for that. Uh, but for this example, we're going to just select number eight, sports and safety services, and press audit. So saying, you know, this is our website, using that as the example, what it does is it pulls out kind of um, the correlations between why you might not be ranking, what you might need to be doing to change that for that particular keyword that you actually search for. In this case, obviously, tennis got maintenance. Uh, so the first thing you'll see is it says it's identified three errors and four warnings um, on this particular URL for the search phrase tennis got maintenance, as I just said, uh, starting off here saying some missing common backlinks. Uh, so what this means is it's actually saying that 10 out of 18 of the common backlinks that a lot of people have who are ranking for that keyword are actually missing for this particular um, for this particular URL, obviously here, this tennis got maintenance. So if we select them, it actually comes up with the particular URLs that other people have got quite a lot of within the niche that we not, uh, might not actually have a lot of for that particular URL. So this is really, really handy is obviously we can now outreach to these companies if we want to and say, hey, look, you know, uh, we saw you linking out to this company and that company. Uh, would you be okay to, you know, give us a, a backlink for this, et cetera, and kind of go about that uh, that way. Sometimes this doesn't work, obviously, because sometimes the backlinks that are common might be, you know, uh, ones that are maybe, I'm not sure, so maybe ones that are different companies that are, you know, coming together to create kind of one big, um, one may think, so obviously if you outreach to them, they'll be like, you know, no, we don't want to do that because we're outreaching to one of our companies. But a lot of them, you know, for example, like uh, Landscaper Magazines looks like a really good one because obviously it's about landscaping. Um, other ones like Construction Dakota UK, possibly for a directory. There's many different options there that we can go through to maybe add some links to Tennis Got Maintenance and get some of those more common links um, onto our URL to improve our rankings. So if I just click off that there, and obviously I've clicked off the whole thing now, but if I go back on audit, uh, I can scroll down it, it'll actually show the true density here. Uh, so this is uh, showing that 50, 57 out of 85 important terms require your attention. Uh, so, you know, you actually look into that a bit more detail and it shows, you know, certain keywords um, and the suggested amount that you actually need to use them really in, in relation to your competitors. So, you know, for example, maintenance here, we've got the word used uh, 13 times, but our competitors have got it somewhere between 5 and 38. So, I mean, they're suggested is very high there. It's saying, you know, to add 55 to 129. What I'd probably do is kind of aim for that top, uh, you know, 38, maybe a little bit less, just basically to improve the amount of use of maintenance and the word maintenance to add it in because that tends to be what the competitors are doing to rank for those keywords. So, you know, it gives you kind of that data and that correlation between how many times you've used that keyword and how many times it recommends you use that keyword. Uh, but I wouldn't take everything massively, literally, you know, it's kind of a trial and error thing and adding it in and changing certain things and seeing where the jumps uh, come from. But obviously it gives you a guideline here, which is really, really useful. It tells you here, obviously, that we're all good for the amount of keywords we're using for the word playing and the word surfaces, so we don't need to change them. But it does recommend uh, adding and removing certain keywords here and there. So, for example, it's saying we're actually using the word surface too many times, um, and our competitors are actually using it you know, five, uh, two to five times, and the suggested is obviously somewhere in between. So it gives you a nice little guideline for that, which is really, really handy. And, uh, yeah, so that's a really great tool as well for your keywords. Uh, scrolling down, this is kind of about quantity now. So quantity of words in the body. Uh, it's saying here that we actually have too many uh, in our actual uh, article here. So we've got 2,154. It's saying consider removing, you know, saying around half of them. So obviously range between somewhere to 500 and 800 keywords. Again, uh, sorry, words. It's, it's Again, it's one of those things where it depends on kind of trial and error. I mean, I wouldn't take that so literally and think, right, I need to remove 
you know, 60, 70% of my article for it to rank. It doesn't necessarily work like that, but it is showing that maybe we do have too many keywords in there. Oh, sorry, too many um, words in there in total, and we have to remove some of them out of there in, in order to rank a little bit better. So again, it's saying the same in words in paragraph, etc., and number of words in bold. It's saying we should really look at, you know, adding some words in bold because there's other people who have, you know, 14 to 60 words in bold. I mean, that's a lot of words. <laughs> again, it's, you know, these are the kind of, uh, it, it does require using your common sense a little bit, thinking, I don't want to, you know, make half my article bold, but, you know, do I need to add in some bold keywords because other people are doing it? I probably do. Uh, again, there it's saying that we're kind of nailing it on the words in H2 to H6, so that's all fine. But it's, it is saying just generally maybe, re, re, you know, remove some keywords, um, remove some words, sorry, from there and obviously remove some uh, uh, and add in some bold words as well for the actual amount of words on that section. Uh, scrolling down the exact keywords, so this is a really good one as well. It's saying that we don't have enough exact keywords per 100 words in the body. Uh, so it's essentially, again, saying add in more keywords this time, which, again, you've got the ideas for up here. So this kind of data actually correlates with the uh, true density in, in many ways. Uh, so you can have a look through there. And then a few more kind of things that you can have a look at. So keywords in image alt tag, uh, you know, keyword in paragraphs, uh, saying we're doing well on kind of keyword in title, keyword in H1. Again, very keyword-based uh, data there that you can have a look through in a bit more detail. And then continuing on the, the uh, theme of uh, keywords, we've got partial keywords as well here. So it's saying we don't actually have enough partial keywords per 100 uh, words in our body. So again, we can go up here and have a look at what might be partial that we can add in uh, that are really good to kind of add in, you know, and, and, and include in our article. And basically just use this data to help out our, um, our piece and make it a bit better and a bit more like what's ranking higher in, in the actual SERPs. Number of elements, you know, we have no faults with that one, but basically what this does show is kind of the number of elements without your, um, within your page, uh, kind of all self-explanatory there, um, and kind of saying, you know, what number suggested is to range from, etc. Uh, characters, you know, 24 characters in the title, it's saying that maybe our title itself is actually a bit short on characters, maybe we should increase that based on the competition. So again, something for us to look at there, and then obviously characters in the meta description too. Uh, saying we're actually too high on that, and we should maybe consider removing a few to get into that uh, into that sweet spot. Is what it's saying. Uh, time to first bite there. So that's obviously the uh, speed, p the page of the sp uh, the <laughs> I can't even speak the speed of the page. There we go. So it's saying we're absolutely fine with that and within the optimal range. And then the load time as well. Obviously, sorry, there is um, that's what I meant to say. The speed of the page is you know perfect. So it loads the page really really well, and everything's completely fine with that as well. And if we wanted to know a bit more details, you can actually press show details on that, and it will come up with a bit more you know kind of graphs and a bit more data of of what we might need to improve and where we're sat with that. Uh, for example, obviously that one we're good with, but if we go up to something like uh, exact keywords per 100 uh, words in body, you can actually press show details, and it shows you a graph there of, of who's ranking number one, what they're doing, and you know what we're doing there in purple. So it gives you that idea of you know maybe we should really look at increasing that to maybe increase our rankings in Google and you can kind of work on the bits you feel are most important, you deem to be most important, and then obviously improve that as you go on. Uh, finally, just as a little addition, a great tool with this um, site audit is actually the share with, ev with everyone button here in the top right. Basically, if you click on that, you can actually uh, copy it to your, um, there you go, copy it to your clipboard as I've done there. And then obviously, if I would copy that into a new tab, uh, it will actually show um, the complete, uh, you know, the complete audit ready for you to go. So, you know, if I wanted to send this to maybe a VA or some of my staff or whoever it was, I can send that over and say, look, this is the audit for this particular keyword. Here's the things that we need changing, you know, maybe test out a few things, or maybe if I had a specific idea, I could be like, you know, just try and fix the true density for now. We'll leave the others and see if that improves the ranking and, you know, just create your own kind of bespoke uh, campaign around this particular audit. So uh, really, really helpful tool, guys, really easy to use, really easy to find. Um, just make sure that you're obviously in the SERP analyzer part before you go through because, uh, so Surfer SEO doesn't have a, a specific tab for a site audit, but it's just within that section, really. So it's just important to know. Uh, so yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you guys later.